BookBot is a robotic book scanner built to automatically digitize textbooks. The system captures left and right page images using digital cameras and robotically turns to the next page of the book, which means it can image an entire book without human intervention. The motivation is to turn these heavy textbooks into something portable without laborious and time-consuming manual scanning. BookBot was created at the Carnegie Mellon Robotics Club and designed for use by its club members. The robot is controlled by a MATLAB script with a graphical user interface, which sends its commands through the popular Arduino microcontroller. Start and stop control automatic operation, with manual commands also possible. Setup is fairly straightforward. Built-in lighting provides consistent image results. Cameras are scripted to set predetermined focus, exposure, and so on. Adjustments for different book sizes are available. Here's how it all works. A transparent acrylic V-shaped platen lowers and flattens the pages to reduce distortion, sort of like a flatbed scanner in reverse. A DC motor moves the platen on a pair of timing belts, with limit switches to detect when it's hit the end of its travel, upon contacting the book or reaching the retracted position. Once the platen flattens the page parallel to the plane of the camera sensor, camera shutters are triggered with a brief 5 volt signal to the USB port interpreted using the USB remote function of the Canon Hack Development Kit. This configuration yields images of about 225 dots per inch. The platen retracts to clear a workspace for the page turning actuators. Turning a single page currently takes 4 to 6 seconds. This is accomplished by pressing down on the page with a high friction rubber end effector. Since page to rubber friction is typically higher than page to page friction, pushing forward causes a single page to buckle and bow out. Principles of series elastic actuation are employed to exert the same force no matter what page the robot is on. The second actuator inserts a low-friction plastic rod under the bowed page, lifting it up to flip the page over. The process repeats for as many cycles as the user specifies, with current page turning reliability at 98%. Grabbing two pages instead of one is the most common failure. Once all pages are scanned, cameras are easily switched to USB mode, allowing all photos to be downloaded to a computer. The design was worked out in SOLIDWORKS before manufacturing began and refined continuously throughout development. One can move quickly from design and engineering drawings through proper use of CAD to manufacturing and implementation. Actuator requirements and dimensions were determined through research, measuring page shapes of different books under various displacements to find suitable page-turning actuator designs. BookBot's reliability later validated these studies. To keep the current page aligned with this actuator and in focus of the cameras, the book cradle slides laterally so that the current page is centered by the V-shape of the platen when it is lowered. BookBot's electronics are self-contained, requiring only household AC power. A few simple custom circuits are designed in Eagle and assembled manually. To power the cameras, adapters are built in the shape of AA batteries and hooked up to the power supply. Much kinder on the warranty than in soldering iron. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about BookBot. If you're interested in building your own simpler version, visit DIYBookScanner.org, the definitive book scanner resource. Also, check out my website at agalkin.com for more of my robotics projects.